is Cece, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you today with a cooking video. So, I'm going to show you. I'm on the tripod. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to let you see what I'm cooking. Okay. I had a tragedy, y'all. I recorded this video a minute ago. I'm cooking some pork chops here and I season them with Tony Catcher's uh, original Creole seasoning. Morton season on Morton season salt, some garlic powder, and some Saison Goya seasoning. I can't pronounce all this down there, but this right here, this right here, y'all, this right here. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. That's good. So these are my pork chops. And also I have going over here. I have uh, green beans with ham in there and these are fresh green beans that I picked and uh, did it the old-fashioned way. I did not put any uh, potatoes in there because if I put them in there I'm going to eat them. So I'm going to put, and this is peanut oil right here that I am frying the pork chops in. And if you notice the pork chops do not have any flour on them so I'm frying them without flour. Don't y'all pay no attention to this the burnt pork chop that you're going to see over here. This stove gets hot. This is my one of the first few times I have cooked on it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see me when I add the pork chop to the um, oil. Oh, I got to show y'all my decorations too. I don't know, it might be a little too much, but I haven't decided yet. So I'm going to set this right here. Now this, like I said, this stove gets hot, y'all. And I had a tragedy a minute ago. I had grease everywhere. When I tell y'all I had grease everywhere, yeah, your girl looking a little rough today. I went for my walk earlier today. I'm just going to put two in there for right now. I went for my walk earlier today, y'all. And... I, um, I am tired. I came in, so I might be doing another walk. I'm going to put these dishes up while I'm talking to y'all. And then I'm going to show y'all my decorations. I put up, I kind of got the idea for Lisa Richardson, but I think I overdid it, y'all. But I don't know. Let me show it to you. I got to take y'all off the tripod again. So, hold up. Let me try to get this camera off of here without turning y'all off. Okay, see on my cabinets, my theme, if you haven't figured out, my uh, is gonna it's gonna be these colors, maroon. Um, I guess I could take the tags off, huh? <laughs> well, I'll take it off after I get off camera. But anyway, it's maroon, uh, gold, and green is gonna be my colors. So, yes, let me step back. I don't know if y'all can see the hole. You dig? But this is it. I put those little decorations on the cabinet. I might tone it down some because it is a lot up there. It's a lot of cabinet space. Now, let me put y'all back on the tripod. Woo, y'all, I did that with no accident. And there we are cooking. Okay. So... Y'all been up to? I'm glad to show y'all. Miss Pam did a video for me showing me a good way to do my portion control. Now I'm gonna show you. This is this is not what she said, y'all. This is not what she said. But this is the plate I'm gonna use for tonight and tomorrow, and then Wednesday or Thursday I'm gonna go get a smaller plate. But this plate is a little smaller than that one. So this is going to be my husband's plate and this is going to be my plate. We're not doing any carbs today. I'm not making any cornbread. Um, I'm trying to uh, cut back on my carbs and my portion control. Huh? Okay, I'll be in there in a minute. Okay, go sit down until I come in there. So I'm going to cut back on everything. We're going to let these fry up for a minute. This one right here, y'all, this is the one I had. I had to let it cook. It's good, too. It's just burnt. It's crispy. It, it's crispy. I'm going to take it. Yep. But, um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. And then I'm going to come back and let y'all see what the, fi the real finished product looks like. Not that burnt one. And so I'll be back. Hey, YT. I am back. And let me get a close-up on the plate if I can. Okay. That is hubby's plate right there. He has two pork chops and green beans. That's my plate. It's loaded up with green beans. And one pork chop. And that is what the pork chop looks fried without any flour. And yes, I do have a lot of green beans, guys. And the two children's plates are over there. So that is my portion for uh, today. This is Monday. And I'll probably have... Um, either a bowl of watermelon or a small slice of cake. Yeah, I might have some cake, y'all. So, but it will be a thin slice. It'll be a lot smaller than what I normally uh, would eat. And that'll be my portion control for uh, this evening. Now, something else I'll be coming to you with later on in the week. Me and Pam had mentioned that if you eat some type of fruit, especially an apple before dinner, you will remain full. So that'll be on my grocery list for the weekend to get some apples, some grapes, just a lot, you know, a nice amount of fruit to keep in the house and to help me to snack on. Because if you use, eat strawberries, grapes, cherries, I mean, they're just, they're sweet as sugar. They will... Uh, take the craving of cakes, cookies, and the such. So with that, I ask that you have a blessed night, and thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow with my portion control.